good environmental stewardship and social and governance takes time to show up in your returns. So if you want to provide capital to companies that are going to do that and stay with them and be a long-term investor, you know, th that's the point. You have to be more patient, you have to let time play out, you have to show that you are going to be a good fiduciary and get a good risk-adjusted return because you believe that the environment was going to matter. That may take longer to prove than someone that's trying to say, well, this quarter my return was in the last six months it was. What people are used to. There's proving the case that it adds value in terms of the risk-adjusted return. They're fiduciaries. They want to know that, that it's something they should be looking at because it, it benefits, you know, themselves and who, if they're managing money for others, that's, that's key. You have to know that it, it, it does benefit, it does benefit. And I think it's also, there is a subtle, some of us call it a cognitive dissonance here, where somehow it seems there's more resistance to believing that, that doing the right thing is going to actually prove a better long-run proposition in terms of risk-adjusted return. It's almost like they can't go together. You know, it's, it's almost a mindset, which I don't think is right. So there's a lot of a lot of behavioural barriers, I think, and then there's just pressure from looking at returns. They're available, and it's very very hard to sit there and go, "Oh, I'm taking a five-year view," you know, and the market's going up and down, and people are ringing you up, and your underlying investors are concerned, and everyone's, you know, the volatility is large. It, it it's not easy. You know, and then there are the. Just wondering if there are so called regulatory, you know, answers, but, but there are also encouragement answers. You know, some people proposed maybe bonus payments by companies that actually want to have longer term investments to bonus shares after a certain number of years you've been on the share registry. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a persuasive way of doing it. Um, and then there's the regulatory hard hammer way of doing it. Um, all of those, I think, persuasive ways you probably know how they're going to affect behaviour. The thing about financial markets is, you know, when you regulate them, they can, that can work. And sometimes it can create unintended consequences as people then do other things as well. So it's hard to say whether it's going to be that easy. I mean, tax policy, again, in many countries, uh, you've got a lower capital gains rate if you hold longer. You know, I've heard one, a very uh, well-known academic say, uh, you know, short-termism, let's just make uh, capital gains zero after five or ten years or something, you know what I mean? And, you know, really hit it in the early years. And so, yeah, I mean, there are ways definitely of looking at it. Some are, you have to do this, some are more persuasive in terms of affecting returns and and so on. So yeah, it's possible to, to, to try and encourage it. Mm. Um, to me, it's more, I would prefer to go down the route that if you do your homework as an investor, you'll come to the conclusion it's a good idea.